afternoon folks and welcome to the Happy Hooker YouTube channel. This afternoon I've just been down to Simon Iams and uh, Bill Iams Marine it is actually. Uh, Simon Iams the lad that owns it and runs it all now. Uh, I've just been and picked the boat up <laughs> with my nice engine on it. Uh, this weekend it's going to get put right through its paces. It is, uh, let me turn around out of that sun. Uh, in fact I'll get back in the van. That's probably easier. That's probably easier. Less traffic noise and everything else. Um, it's going to get put through its paces this weekend. It's going out. Well, it's supposed to be only going out tomorrow, uh, Saturday and Sunday. It's now Friday. Um, but me being me, I'm going to launch it on the streets and I'm going to go and uh, sit in the little hole for a few hours and then I'm going to anchor up there and I'm going to go to sleep tonight. So off to uh, B&M or go outdoors, whichever one's got a nice little, uh, nice little bloat bed in because they fit on my boat. I've got my boat cover with me and I've got a quilt. So all I need is sleeping stuff, some gas uh, and some food and it'll be, <laughs> it'll be happy days. One of the days we're going out wrecking, maybe even on both of the days, uh, but we'll see won't we. Uh, we'll just see what the wind brings, but it looks lovely tomorrow afternoon, so I think that might be the plan. Anyway, I better get on with it. I'll let you know when I'm down there. Right guys, next stop on the journey, Anglesey Bait Centre. Uh, I've ordered some worms and stuff, so let's go and see what we've got. Evening, Mal. Hello, I'll, just go I'll go round here out at the road while you're, while you're talking. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right guys, I've said, it, I've said it in the last video and I'm going to say it again. I'm going to start trying to promote these little local tackle shops and stuff. Um, if you're fishing in Anglesey, go and see one of the tackle shops in Anglesey. If you're in Blackpool, go and see one in Blackpool. Wherever you are in the country, go and see your local tackle dealer. Uh, they're a fun to knowledge and they're... Um, it's fresh bait. For me, it's fresh bait more than anything. If, if you don't keep using them and they all go out of business, we're all knackered. There's no fresh bait, is there? So the incentive is, when you buy your bait, buy a couple of bits. If you need a couple of lures, get some lures. If you need a new rod, get a new rod. Same with the reel, or your hooks and your weights and your lines and stuff. If we, uh, if we, all, if we all muck in and keep it going, then there's always going to be fresh worms and bait for us, isn't there? Right, guys, I'm down at the uh, water's edge at Morris. Um, now the boat's been left unascended uh, all through the storms under some trees and stuff so it's a bit of a state but it's nothing I can't sort out in about 10 minutes <laughs> um, I'm ready for launching I get my waders on now back the boat in uh, everything's on everything's working as it should be always check before you go out make sure your radio's working as well uh, which I will do as we speak actually Channel 16, are we ready? Right, here goes. Holly Head Coast Guard, Holly Head Coast Guard, this is Happy Hooker. Happy Hooker requesting a radio check over. Good evening, Hollyhead Coast Guard. This is Happy Hooker. Thank you very much. Ouch. Easy as that, guys. Now, I can see people screaming at the camera, you're supposed to say it three times! But it doesn't matter. They still responded. They knew who I was. Um, so, let's just go down with some fishing there. Eh? <laughs> see you in a bit. And we're off, guys. <laughs> let's go fishing. Engine started, absolute first time. Been stood for a good month now, this engine. Um, I'm gonna go and uh, I'm gonna go get anchored up. Which is a little all. I am single handed this morning. Just listen to that nice bastard engine purring. <laughs> I don't even have to go fast. What we're doing there? Uh, nine miles an hour. Now the inner child wants me to press that accelerator down and go for it. <laughs> I'll let it warm up a minute first there. Eh? Big garret here, so that's a good sign. In fact, there's a couple of garrets here. In fact, there's a bloody load of garrets here. Are they, are they going at mackerel? Are they looking for mackerel? 
It's just started to flood where I need to be going now, so look at where I am going here. Huh? Let's get round there and get anchored up. Right guys, I'm just waiting for the tide to turn round proper. Uh, while I am, I might as well get my rod set up. Been a while since I've been here. Um, the setup is now because I'm going wrecking tomorrow on Sunday. I've brought my 1220s with me normally. I would use my 612s on here, but a 1220 will do the job just as well. Uh, and then I've not got a million rods on the boat that, I, that I'm not going to use all at once. So uh, the setup for today: a nice sliding boom. Going to put a three ounce lead on that. I've got a, a little link swivel on. I've come down to 10 pound amnesia and down to size ones worm up uh ow when it's stuck in my hand them are the uh them are the actual hooks hang on let me get me there i don't know if that's focusing or not i would imagine it is but them are the hooks what i'm using um i went on to them simply because they've got two little barbs at the top of the hook and it stops the worm from rolling off um i've brought a little feather rod with me now look, watching them gannets all hovering about and and swimming and uh, flying around over this all where I am I think I might just drop it off the back and just let it bounce around in the in the um, in the tide and hopefully we'll get a mackerel or two I have known the mackerels to be in here before so and they have been showing up so we'll see won't we <laughs> I'll um, just waiting for tide I might have a cup of tea that sounds good doesn't it nice cup of tea while I'm waiting uh, not much to say now is there better get on with it well guys there's not much happening. <laughs> I know it's way too early in the year to be sat in here, but they have been catching bass all around Anglesey and, uh, and on the straits and stuff, so it's worth a shot, isn't it? I mean, the alternative was, because I came down last night, uh, came down last night, came down this afternoon, um, the alternative was to um, just sit on shore and do nothing. I'll put that behind there just for that win. Um, so rather than do that, I think I'd rather sit out here have a nice cup of tea, burn my mouth, and um, I sit watching the rods. I'm actually getting crabbed to death at the minute. Um, the wind's blowing across me here from from that side to this. So, and it's not the it's not the biggest of tides, and it's uh, it's keeping the boat sort of pointing that way. I'm hoping that as the tide comes on now a bit more. It's going to work, uh, the fishing will pick up. Or I'll catch something. But I'll have to do it before dark anyway because I've, <laughs> I've, left, a, I've left the glowing starlights on the, um, in the van and I'm not up an anchor and going back for them. So, when it goes dark, if I can't see my rods, I won't be able to fish. I'll have to go to bed, won't I? Easy as that. <laughs> I'll be tired by then anyway because I am a tired 10. I have to be in bed by 9 o'clock. We need our beauty sleep, don't we? <laughs> well guys, I um, I never had a single bite. <laughs> now my plan was to stay on the water there and um, sleep overnight on the boat and then fish the tide up again in the morning but not one single bite, I was just getting crabbed to death. Uh, so I've had a change of plan, I've put the boat back on the trailer, um, done a few alterations on the trailer, what I needed to do and I'm going over to Ollie Head. I'm going to get some eight, go over to Ollie Head and uh, what I will do is I will, I will carry this video on tomorrow so I'll do the, the two sessions as, as one video. Um, very exciting, I've got a video coming out tomorrow then so we're going out wrecking tomorrow off the Isle of Man and then um, and then Sunday, I don't know where we're going but I'm going somewhere, might be going to the wrecks on the other side of the peninsula um, over towards Bardsey Island, over that way. So keep watching because it will be fun, and there will be there will be there will be fish caught, <laughs> and not just me waffling rubbish. <laughs> I will go. I'm gonna get some eat. Come and get me head down, and I will see you in the morning. Morning again, folks. Right, it is obviously it's now morning. Um, I'm down at Ollyhead Marina, next to the breakwater. Then it's not windy at all, so I might get some drone footage of the um, of the lighthouse and stuff. Uh, I've got Dave the Slave here with me. Morning, Dave. Morning. Uh, we're going to go out. They've been catching mackerel in this harbour. A bit, a bit um, hit and miss, but they have been getting them. So we're going to have half an hour uh, dotting around in here, see if we can get some mackerel. And then we're heading off out to the wrecks towards the Isle of Man. Uh, the weather forecast is absolutely fantastic today. So... Hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll have some fish to show you. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit, guys. 
Well guys, we didn't get any mackerel in the harbour, so we're going off now to some uh, to some wrecks towards the island man. The first one is 27.8 miles and then there's one at 33 and then another couple at 38 miles. Uh, we're going to try them on the way out, see how we get on. If we're doing well on the on the first couple, we don't need to go as far, do we? But uh, I'm hoping we start getting some fish. <laughs> what do you think, Dave? Hope so, hope so. <laughs> right, I'll, uh, I'll let you know how we get over the first wreck. See you in a bit, guys. Right, guys, we finally got out to this wreck. Uh, it did get a bit of lump bump on the way there. I'm just going to show you this now because <clears throat> we are approaching the wreck. That is the wreck there. Oops, knock that off. That's the wreck there. And we're going to see if it shows on this screen. It should do because that shows obviously that little arrow. I'll just nudge us forward a bit. The slower you go, the better the reading you get. Hopefully, we're going to see something and we're seeing nothing. Oh, yes, we are. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah. One wreck showing there. Look at that, guys. It looks like a lot of fish on it as well. Happy <laughs> 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 days are here again. Do, 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 do. Well, look at that. Let me just switch screens. Very oh, wrong one. Wrong one. So now, switch screens very quickly, and you will see it a little bit better. I mean, it's not a massive wreck. To me, that looks perfect. So what I'll do now is I'll kill my engine. I shall kill my engine, uh, get the stuff set up, and while we're setting the stuff the stuff up, we will be drifting. So whichever way we drift now, it'll give me a line, uh, so I can go back round in a circle once the stuff's set up, and then drift over the wreck and hopefully hit it. <laughs> hopefully that is. Uh, I'll show you the tackle in a minute when I've got it all set up and uh, I'm running. I can't wait for this. We're going to catch some fish. We're going to catch some fish. <laughs> First fish over the wreck. It's nothing special. It is only on the feathers. When the tide picks up, I'll start running. Uh, I'll show you what I'm running through in a bit. It's a long way to bring a little fish up. I'll look at a pout in the summer. At least it's a fish. I am white. <laughs> A single solitary pollock. You got another, you got another one on. Right, there we go, guys. Right on the bottom. Here we go, back. Go back. Hey. I'm gonna drop down. I haven't got time to drop down. With the speed the wreck's going, but with the speed the tide's going, oh, it's not going back. Single's away too. So I'm pulling back again in a sec. It's not that time. There you go, guys. That looks a bit better. Dave's trying to throw a pouch in back, he's done it! <laughs> uh, well, well, it's been that slack the tide, we've just been sat over the wreck, making bacon butties and cups of teas and cans of pop and out you want. Um, it's just, just starting to run the other way now, so hopefully <laughs> the fish will start playing. There's fish down there, I know there's fish down there. Um, if we'd have had some mackerel or anything like that, I'd have stuck a mackerel flapper on while the tide would that slack and seeing if we could see what we're in there. Maybe a conger or um, or a ling. It's not noted for ling, I don't think, this wreck, but we could have uh, we could have tried it, couldn't we? Certainly could have tried it. So, in the meantime, keep plugging away. Easy as that, isn't it? Well, guys. As much as I love my seals and my wildlife, there's one here at the back of the boat, I don't know if you can see him. 
<laughs> That's just what we need to see when I've travelled 40 miles to a wreck. <laughs> and we're wondering why we're not we're not doing particularly well. He's been bobbling about for quite a little bit actually. Uh, we're probably wasting our time here now, to be fair. I might have to uh, I think we might move on to another wreck. We'll see. <laughs> well guys, uh, the wrecking was uh, a bit abysmal to say the least. So what we've done is we've come a bit closer in. Uh, well, a lot closer in. I mean, we were 40 mile. We were 40 mile out over there. Over near the Isle of Man, and uh, we're probably a, a month or so early, but uh, you've got to give these things a try now and then. <clears throat> you never know, sometimes it pays off, sometimes it doesn't. There's no such thing as a bad day's fishing. <laughs> there's a rubbish day's fishing, but there's never a bad day's fishing. It's better than any good day's work. So we've come in to the side of Belvoir or Bolivia or Belvoir, whatever you want to call it, just outside Oliette. Um, there's the three lads here on the on the rib. They're catching already, so we're gonna follow suit. I see if we can get some fish caught for you. I'll uh, I'll show you some if we get some. Speak to you in a bit, guys. <laughs> well, guys, that, that that didn't take long, did it? <laughs> These lads are all catching at the side of us and all. Nice little pollock. <laughs> That's what we like. Uh, starting to feel a bit better now because I've only had one fish all day. <laughs> get him on up to get him back. Uh, get off. There we go. Lovely little thing. Well, what I should do really is I should have saved him and tried him for a talk for the talk bait later. Um, and now I've got myself in a big tangle. <laughs> get stared to that. Oh, there we go. It's out now. Brilliant. There we go, guys. Save the slave turn. Is it one or two? Little Pollock again. You do get qualies on here, don't you? It's an absolutely cracking little uh, reef. This I fished it. I fished it quite a bit. Um, it's just a nice little pick me up when you've been uh, when you've not been catching and you're feeling a bit uh, rubbish about it. <laughs> Come on, somewhere like this to catch a lot of little fish and. Puts the smile back in there, doesn't it? Puts the fun back in it. Because trust me, that were hard work going all the way out there and coming back. It were getting a bit lumpy at times. And... But that's fishing. It's all part and parcel of it. What else would I be doing? We sat at home, wasn't I, listening to whatever. Kids messing and fighting. <laughs> I do love this. I'm, just going to, I'm going to turn the camera around. Just uh, save the slaves on it, on it again. That's the thing, that's the uh, Bolivar, I think it's pronounced. Bolivar. Uh, frugal Phil takes the mickey out of me every time. What have you got there, Dave? Another one? Yeah. Another little, uh, <laughs> my type of fishing. Absolutely love it. And guess what? I've got to do it all again tomorrow. <laughs> I've got Gamekeeper John out with me tomorrow. So. Not sure what we're going to do though. I know that uh, Mike Stewart has gone over to Trevor. He's gone fishing for top, so we'll see how he's got on. Um, Narkin Earth, he's gone out of Pafeli fishing on some of the wrecks out of there, so we'll see how he's gone. Whoever's done the best, I think I'll just shadow what they've done today. I'll do that tomorrow with uh, John. Hopefully, it'll make, make for a better video, won't it? <laughs> anyway, I'll get some more fishing done. <laughs> a double up. Bigger than mine. Oh, he's Dave got a bigger one than me. <laughs> Oops. I'm, not, I'm not sure you're catching too many of them. <laughs> um, I think what we're going to do after is we're going to go inside the breakwater and see if we can catch a couple of mackerel. Or not. I know we didn't get any this morning, but there's no saying we won't get a couple this afternoon, is there? We'll soon see. 
was just saying about going inside the uh, brake wall, as I twitched the camera off, Dave just pulled his finger mackerel up. <laughs> so I might have a little change of tack and go on the Sabikis here and see if we can find some more because there will be fantastic tote baits for tomorrow. Um, brilliant, well done Dave. Let's get, some, let's get some work on. I'm going to change these feathers, I'm going to put some Sabikis on, see if we can pick some more up. <laughs> it's what we like. <laughs> Dave the slave with more mackerel in the arbor. <laughs> That's what we need, isn't it? Get some nice tote baits in for tomorrow. He's showing me how to fish, he's teaching me a lesson. <laughs> I've done a single mackerel all day. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get one. In fact, I'm not bringing this boat in till I've had one. Well, folks. What a lovely day that was! I've really, really enjoyed myself. Uh, I'm a bit sun bleached. I'm absolutely tired out of my head. Uh, I'm hungry. <laughs> I could do it with a good scrub. Um, I'm out again tomorrow, so I'm gonna get some food. Uh, I'm roughing it again on the boat tonight, by the way. Um, so by tomorrow, I'm gonna look like an absolute tramp. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> I really, really don't give a monkeys. Uh, I'm out here. I'm enjoying myself. Uh, um, I've got game to keep John out with me tomorrow. I'm not sure where we're going tomorrow, um, but I'm, I'm, we will decide sooner rather than later. Um, if you enjoy the videos, what I do put out, uh, I, I know it were a bit slow at times today. Today's video. Um, please do press the like and subscribe button it won't cost you a single single penny um and until tomorrow ta-da for now